So Jordan, you've been here a couple of months now. Have you uh, settled in nicely with the lads? Yeah, I have, yeah. Um, ever since I walked through the door, the staff, the lads have been absolutely excellent. Um, Hodgie and the manager have um, been brilliant with me, obviously getting me up to speed and allowing me time to um, get to the pace of the you know, the league and stuff like that. So, um, you know, they edged me in nicely and now I feel, I feel brilliant, I feel um, fit um, and, and feel like I'm playing well. And whatever season it is at Tramley, it always seems to be a really close-knit squad. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we got. Um, you know, you see the the squad this year is quite young. Um, a lot, a lot of young lads in there. We're, we're all, you know, really close together. Um, great team spirit, and I think you're seeing that now on the pitch, um, especially with the, with the recent performances. And can you feel that momentum building now within the side? Yeah, of course. I mean, when you're coming off the back of um, three wins, you know, we it took us a while to get that points away from home um, and then we got two in a row so um, you know we backed it up with a great great home win on Saturday as well so um, you know along with three clean sheets as well so um, yeah of course the, you know the momentum's come in but we want to build on that now. That was my next question here about uh, three clean sheets in a row how satisfying has that been as a defender? Yeah of course that's our you know it's our bread and butter really that's what we we go out there to do and you know and hopefully let the the lads at the top into the pitch express themselves and um, and score some goals so we can win games you know to win games you have to score goals so ultimately you know it's not just the defenders that are getting clean sheets you know it's the whole team working working well together we've worked out a you know a way of playing that's really suited us recently um, and, and like I said we just need to build on that keep working on things like we've been out there today working on things for Saturday um, and, and hopefully we can get many more clean sheets. It's quite a new backline as well isn't it so how difficult is it to get that communication <coughs> spot on yeah, of course. It's, it's obviously took time through throughout the start of the season to for everyone to bed in, and, it, and it's even changed from the start of the season as well. So, um, like I said, it takes time. Um, I think the first time was that game against Salford um, with with me and D playing together in a back four, um, and it's worked really well since. You know, we've we've had clean sheets since. So. Um, yeah, we just need to build on that and, and keep that relationship going um, with the fullbacks as well. You know, we've got pace and we've got great players out there as well. So um, we're all working really hard together to you know keep that momentum going. And Danilo and Ethan are only 20 years old as well. How impressed have you been with them? Yeah, fantastic. I mean, um, I think that's what we, you know, the manager's been saying since the start of the season to expect, you know, times where it might not come off and it might not work, but um, the lads are working really hard together and, you know, it only takes a matter of time for us to, to really gel and get that team spirit and that togetherness going. Um, and I feel like I've just said then, we, we've really got that going at the minute. Um, and yeah, the, the, you know, young lads playing, playing week in, week out, so it's only going to be fantastic for them. And you're only 27 yourself, but yeah. do you, do you pass, is it nice to pass on your experience to them as well? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've come here, I feel like one of the older players. I, well, I am. I am here. Um, I've not really been used to that. Like you said, I'm only, I'm only 27. But um, no, obviously, I've, I'm, I'm quite experienced for my age. I've played a lot of games. Um, so, yeah, just, just helping out when I can. But, you know, like I said, we're all helping each other. Um, we're, we're all out there together. We all want the same aim. We're all trying to work towards that, you know. <coughs> getting higher at the, at the table at this moment in time. And how do you feel about your own game? Do you think there's so much more to come from you? Or, you know, you're satisfied so far? Yeah, of course, like I said, I'm satisfied with the way, um, you know, I got drip fed into the team and uh, got my fitness up, but now I feel like I'm, you know, full steam ahead now, I feel really good. Um, feel fit, you know, um, I'm going into games ready. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm really enjoying it as well. I really am enjoying it. So, um, you know, I'm just looking forward to every game at the moment. You mentioned those three wins in a row. The first one was against Salford. How sweet was that going back there and winning there? Yeah, of course. You, you always have that connection with the team that you've been been from. But um, of course, it is a great feeling to go back to go back somewhere where you have played and, and obviously pick up the three points. So that was fantastic. Um, along with that away win that we obviously been waiting for for a while. So. Um, you know, it was, it was a fantastic day around, and it really spurred us on to, to go on a little run. Um, and we hopefully that run can continue. And has that brought confidence? Those two successive away wins as well. I think so. Yeah, it, it's sort of been um, hanging over the team a little bit. I think it was. Um, you know, we spoke about it. Had carried on from last season as well. Obviously, I wasn't here, but um, as the, the the club and the fans really wanted those to pick up that away form. Um, we had to start somewhere, you know. We started against a, you know, a brilliant Salford team that are doing really well in the league, um, away from home. So it couldn't have gone any better, really. Um, and then we backed up with another one. So 
um, positive, yeah. And just finally from me, what you've seen so far, are you hoping you can get into the playoffs even better this season? Well, you know, anything's possible. It's still so early in the season. You, you see what three wins has done for us now. We're right on the, sort of on the edges of that. You know, we obviously um, need to keep on, keep on going, but um, in this league, everyone's beating everyone, you know, um, and there's so many more games to go. But we're obviously extremely positive um, with how things are going right now. Um, and yeah, we just need to keep on working, keep on building, and um, it's another chance on Saturday to close that gap even more. You've said there about um, being drip fed into the team and how you enjoyed doing that, but how difficult was it sort of missing out on a lot of the pre season with the team? It's, it was difficult. I mean, um, it's the first time that I've ever experienced that. Um, but, um, you know, I was obviously professional myself, keeping myself, you know, generally fit throughout that time period. But in terms of not being with the team and sort of getting that togetherness, it was obviously difficult. But um, like I said, the manager was absolutely fantastic, not rushing me into anything. And I had time to, to train with the lads. And the lads were brilliant, you know. Um, they were fantastic and welcomed me into the team. Um, and, and gradually got into got into Saturday where I um, I played and you know it was a it was a brilliant win. I think the, the first game was uh, Gillingham at home, so it couldn't have gone any better really. Um, and yeah, just from there I've just continued to to get fitter and stronger and um, and build relationships with the boys. Well, what's the benefits for you going through that process of being slowly introduced into the team? Just um, in, in terms of fitness, really, you know, I haven't had a pre-season to get my body ready for football. Obviously, in my own time and, and doing fitness myself, it's it's never the same as actually training and getting that um, football fitness into your legs and making sure that I didn't want to get rushed into it and get injured early. You know, it was all those little things. So um, to make sure my body was ready was the main thing. Um, and once I was ready, it was perfect time to, to come into the team against Gillingham. Yeah, and obviously playing in the, in the back four now, it's it's becoming <laughs> stronger week in, week out by the looks of things. And what's the process in training as you guys sort of gel together more and more? Well, that's how it feels at the minute. We feel um, extremely solid at the back, um, along with the lads in front of us and the strikers. You know, we've worked on how we want to, to start a press. We've worked on how we want to, um, where we want to show the ball. And it's really a team effort. Um, but as a unit at the back, it's just about um, training together. We was out there today in our back four, um, just just working on things and going through things. It's just building those relationships. Like here's a new back four. We've even changed from a back three to a back four. So all these different things that have changed and we've experimented with. Um, we feel really good as we are at the minute. Um, that's not to say that things might not change again, but um, right now we're in a good moment and um, just about building those relationships. Like I said, me and me and Danal played what three games together, I think. So. Um, yeah, it feels really good. I, I think we enjoy playing with each other um, and it's working really well. Yeah, definitely. And uh, Sutton, this weekend, uh, they'll probably set up with a very similar 4 4 2 formation. What kind of game are you expecting? Yeah, just from past experience last season playing against them, we know it's going to be a, a very physical game. Um, you know, physical strikers, so that's going to be a challenge for us at the back. Um, they're going to want to get the ball back to front quickly, so we just need to stand up to that and hopefully our quality will shine through after that. Yeah, and then just finally, uh, several Tramian fans have come up to me this week. They've asked about your beard. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the beard routine? How'd you I've, get had, uh, I've had a lot of questions about the beard. <laughs> Nothing, just, get, just got lucky really, I got lucky. Um, just need to keep it in check now and again, but um, nah, just, just lucky, yeah. Mm -hmm.